I'd like to welcome our past senator and current Kane County Board Chairman, Mr. Chris Lawson. Thank you, Rudy. Ladies and gentlemen, we honor today and every day of our lives and their lives the men and women who understand and demonstrate through their actions what the words duty, honor, and country truly mean. There are many of us who deeply respect and cherish friends and family members who have gone to serve and who have gone to war. Thank God that many have come home, some have not. But all who went away came back changed. Whether they show their scars and wounds or they don't, they are there. In war, there are no unwounded soldiers. I remember in 1970, one of my closest friends was one of the few in our graduating high school class who chose to enter the service, uh, service in the Army and went off to a dangerous and mysterious place called Vietnam. We didn't hear from him for more than a year, but eventually he came back, one of the lucky ones, in one piece. Where we were still uh, boys, his experience had made him a man. Where we were still silly, he was more serious. Where we still talked a lot about a little, he didn't talk too much about anything anymore. Their military service and his military service put an unbridgeable distance between those who went and those of us who didn't. Eventually, time and routine, the seasons of work and play, friends and family's love and respect, healed most of the apparent strain that the burden he had borne for the rest of us had made upon him. He has gone on to a successful business career and we never talked again about what he had seen. Many of us are family members and friends to soldiers and sailors. I would like to thank you too for what you have sacrificed for those whom you love. The sleepless nights the constant tension, the fear of what could happen, and for the fortunate many, the relief and uh, gratitude for what didn't. For those who suffered the ultimate loss, our eternal sorrow and our prayers. General George Patton remarked with a, an insensitive bravado but deep pride in raw courage and ultimate patriotism. It is wrong to mourn men who died Rather, we should thank God such men lived. But when you think about it, it's true. And we should never take for granted the virtue of those who leave us to serve. And our public policy makers and political leaders better be the first to commit and sacrifice their own family members and friends before they commit and sacrifice ours. May God bless you, our loyal American veterans, your family, in our United States of America.